Well, you guys got another video on six steps to remove any malware or viruses for free on your Windows based system. If you have a Windows system, then you can use this method to remove any sort of infection. I'm going to show you step by step. We'll call this a six step process. Now, the first thing you want to do is download Kaspersky Rescue Disk. You're going to need a USB flash drive. And what you can do is create one of these and basically boot to it and run a scan from that environment. What it's gonna do then is it means the malware on that system will not be running because we're gonna load this up into memory and we should be perfectly fine to run a scan from there, which will find all of the malware on the system and remove it. Next, you're gonna need Rufus, so download Rufus. And what you can do here is download the portable version and run this on the PC and make a bootable USB flash drive with Kaspersky Rescue Disk. I'm going to go ahead and select our ISO image. And now what we can do here is we can leave it on this set in here, which is for BIOS and UEFI. And we're going to leave the uh, volume label for KRD. And basically, if you've got a new PC, it's GPT, uh, non-CSM. Uh, but we're going to leave it on this one here. And you will need to change the boot order to boot to this USB flash drive so it will load up. Once it's done, click Start. Click OK and say yes. You will see warning all the data on this disk will be wiped and that's because it needs to install Kaspersky Rescue Disk on there. So just let it create this bootable USB flash drive. Once that's done, we're going to restart the PC and change the boot order to boot to our USB flash drive. If you don't know how to do this, then you probably shouldn't be entering into removing malware from your PC yourself. But once you've done, you should be booting up to this location here. Choose Kaspersky Rescue Disk Graphic Mode and push Enter. Now, what this is going to do is load up our Kaspersky Rescue Disk here. And from here, you may see a load of text coming up on the screen. Don't worry about that. That's pretty normal. Now, do you need to do the Kaspersky Rescue Disk first? It depends on how infected you are or whether you just want to make things easier for yourself. Sometimes malware will stop your antivirus from running, it will disable it. And sometimes uh, it makes uh, programs hard to run because it's stopping them from running. So it's best to boot to something like this first. And once it's done, it will generally free up a lot of this bloat that's already installed by this malware and get rid of it. And this will allow you to be able to use the system again to run more scans. So we're ready to scan here. And what we're gonna do is click on scan now and it will start a scan. This is going to run a scan on the system. It will do a quick scan, and if it sees any threats, it will tell you threats were found. If it finds them, it's going to ask you, do you want to delete them? It found a few here, as you can see, three objects detected. So I'm going to be removing these. These are, as you can see, Trojan downloaders and nasty stuff like that. So I'm going to quickly leave these as delete, and we will. Uh, you can neutralize all, you can skip all, which I wouldn't advise you to do, or you can restore default actions. I'm going to leave that is as delete in there and click continue. It's then gonna say disinfect and start an advanced scan. It's gonna now do an advanced scan on our system. This will take a bit longer. So we need to do that to make sure there's no remnants left behind. So we're gonna do a cure and advanced scan here. So I'll let that run and we'll see what it finds. Now for more advanced users, you might want to have a little look around inside the volume. This is your actual drive on your computer. We can have a little explore here so we can go into the user accounts here. Now, you would need to know what you're looking for. You'd need to know what malware looks like and where it resides on your computer. So if you don't know any of this part, you can skip this bit and let the uh, scanning tool do its job. You can see here in the downloads folder, there might be some stuff in here and there is files in here which are malware. So you may want to clear this out and manually remove this, or you can let the program do it for you. But like I said, this is more for advanced users that know what they're doing. You can right click and delete all of this stuff from your drive. So let me just quickly remove this one right here. And again, you only want to remove stuff that you know what you're removing. So don't go and remove system files because they will be removed and your system won't boot. So be very, very careful. Now, other places like app data, and local and roaming are places where malware resides as well. And you may see loads of files in here inside the temp area. You can clear all this out as well. You can do this later on, uh, but you may find files in here which are suspicious. 
uh, like this one right here, which is malware, and you can remove it. If you don't know what malware looks like, again, leave it well alone. Now, know the uh, USB icon one there is to do with Rufus, so I'm going to leave that as it is. And again, you can go and search around in some other particular locations. If you're familiar with Windows, you'll know where malware generally resides. If not, then leave it alone. Inside Roaming, there's another area inside here where you normally find quite a bit of malware that resides in here. And again, like it says there on the warning screen, warning, you are using root account, you may harm your system. So don't go deleting files that you don't know uh, what they are, because again, you will mess up your operating system. So now we've done that, what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to go too deeply in this part because I want to keep this uh, tutorial as simple as possible for people. So I'm going to leave it at just showing you what you can do with this tool. And you can see it's already detected a couple of extra objects. So we're going to let that scan finished and we're going to remove these. And this is what it's found. So you can see a keylogger has been found on here and a Trojan script has also been found on here as well. And we will delete these uh, files from the system and these were in our file system so we're going to remove this and delete them so now that's done we can now boot to the desktop of our computer by shutting down kaspersky rescue disk so i'm going to do that and go to the bottom left hand corner and click leave and then click shut down and we can remove this from our system i'm going to restart and remove it and there we go you should see it closing down right now and we should be at the back of the desktop here. And there we are. We still have some uh, spyware on here. So what we're going to do is remove the rest of the remnants. Now, sometimes things do get left behind even after a scan with Kaspersky Rescue Disk. This is where you can run some other scans. And it's always best to run these. But first, step two, what you want to do is uninstall any sort of applications that you see on the system. These are be these spyware applications or adware applications that are bloating or slowing down your system. Hopefully a lot of these have been uh, removed now. If not, you can use something like this program. It's called Kill em All. And uh, basically what that does is it terminates all non-essential running programs on the system. And then this will allow you to run other scans. You can also uninstall stuff like this here by hitting the three dots and clicking on uninstall. It's very simple. So just remove any sort of malicious programs you see in here or programs you never wanted on the system. And this will allow you to uninstall them here. So I'm just uninstalling some normal programs here to give you a representation of what you should be doing. But if there's anything in here that you don't want, just uninstall it. Let's move on to the next step, resetting your browser. You need to reset the browser back to default settings because all the permissions and stuff could have been changed or you could have redirects and things like that. So restore or reset all of your settings back to default. This will be for Edge, uh, Firefox, Chrome, or any other type of browser that you're running on your system. You want to make sure it's fully updated and fully reset back to default settings. Let's move on to another step which you will need to take to remove any sort of malware from your system. And that is to remove all of the temporary internet files and all of the other rubbish that is left behind from your surfing uh, the web. And this can also be from your previous uh, time where you got infected. So you want to make sure you go into the storage settings here, or you can use a program of your choice to run a scan and delete all of the temporary files that you don't need. This will clear out all of the rubbish on that system. So we're going to be using the built-in Windows storage sense and we'll just use this to remove all of this stuff. Now, it is advisable to remove all of the downloads area here because you've obviously downloaded stuff and infected yourself. So it will be advisable to remove all of this stuff. I'm gonna remove everything inside here. Also, it's important to update uh, Windows to all the latest updates as well. So we're just gonna quickly remove all this stuff here. And you can see it's saying warning, this includes your download folder. If you store stuff in your downloads folder, like a lot of people do, you really shouldn't because uh, you should keep it clean and remove it uh, from the system because that's where a lot of stuff will be residing. So let's go ahead and do the next step here. So I'm just going to quickly show hidden files, folders and drives here. And what we're going to do is go into this PC. And again, you can manually move around here and have a look for areas which will have malware. You can do it from this location if you know what you're doing. 
Now, if this is a running process, it won't be able to be deleted sometimes. So this is where kill them all comes in. It will actually kill those non-important processes and you'll be able to then remove it from the system. So let's go ahead and go into Task Manager. And what we're going to do is have a little look inside here to see processes. Now, you can use Process Explorer on tools like that to actually weed out and put uh, processes to sleep, basically, so you can stop them, find them, and delete them. And uh, you can see there is something running here called Defrag Reminder. So we can right-click on this and disable this, but I'm going to remove it anyway. So you can open file in location. And you can see there is a file here which I want to remove. So I'm going to go back a, a directory here and see if there's an uninstaller for this. So it wasn't listed in the uninstall section. So let me click on this part here and hopefully there is an uninstaller. And there is an uninstaller. So what we're going to do is use this uninstaller to remove it. So you can see it down here. Hopefully this will uninstall and uh, say yes and remove that from the system. There we go. And I don't want to open up the browser again. So I'm just going to close that off and we'll disable this one, but it will be removed on reboot and I'll remove it by using the tool. I'll show you that a little bit later on. So now that's done, we are now set, but you want to go through here and make sure there is nothing in the here that you don't want starting up. I'm going to move on to the next stage here. And that is to run another scan on your system using Windows Defender. Now, sometimes what malware will do is it will disable Windows Defender uh, like it has done here. And what you want to do is you want to re-enable all of your security uh, software on your system and try to run a scan. If it has uh, sort of disabled it, just turn it all back on. So I'm going to go back into here and go into manage settings here and make sure everything is turned on here. And once we've done this, we want to run a full system scan, not a quick scan. We want to run a full system scan on our system. So go to scanning options and then run full system scan. You can also see Microsoft Defender offline mode. If you wanted to run that, you can do. Uh, that's similar to uh, Kaspersky Rescue Disk. Another tool you want to run is Malwarebytes on the system. So we're going to get this installed and run a full scan with this as well. That's also important because we want to make sure that we're getting a sort of second opinion to make sure all of the malware has been removed from this computer. So we're going to go ahead and get this installed and we'll uh, run a scan with this as well. OK, so now that's uh, done, what we're going to do here is open up Malwarebytes, go to the three dots here and go to Advanced Scan and go to Custom Scan. And from here, we want to make sure we've checkmarked all of the stuff we want to check, for instance, rootkits and treat detections as malware. That's what we want to do here. Leave that as is. And now we need to select a drive that we want to scan. In this case, it's going to be our C drive because that's our Windows drive and click scan and let that scan. It does take a bit of time and hopefully it will find any sort of remnants. Now, these might be just remnants of files that are left behind from uh, Kaspersky Rescue Disk. So these might not be functioning as malware anymore. They might be just like detections, registry keys and things like that, or they may still be actual files that are running on the system, uh, but you just need to run this. You can already see that uh, Windows Defender has found nothing. We've done a full scan here. That's a good sign, but it just goes to show you how vulnerable you are by just running one scan from one piece of software because there is still bits left behind. So what we're going to do here is quarantine all of this stuff, and you can see potentially unwanted programs uh, these are like just basically potentially unwanted apps, pups, as we call them. They're just from uh, spyware and adware that gets installed on the system. Now that's all removed. What we can do is restart the system and we can then finish off the rest of this cleanup process. Now, it's important to remember you can't just rely on one piece of software to remove malware. You have to check. So we're going to use ADW Cleaner now. It's made by Malwarebytes or owned by Malwarebytes. It wasn't created by those. But what we're going to do is use this, and this will find any sort of pups or any other sort of stuff on the system. So I'm going to go ahead and run this quickly, and you can see it's already detected four. Now, again, this might be remnants left behind. Again, pup, as you can see here. So I'm going to remove this. This is what this program is designed to do, and it's writing a log for us. And once this is done, I'm going to do some settings here because there is some fixes we can do, like reset the firewall 
and reset IPsec and we can see uh, bits and IE policies, WinSock and proxies, all this sort of stuff that gets changed by malware, reset my host file and we're going to do all of this stuff by just checking again, running a scan and it will delete, remove anything and also run these uh, fixes here for us. So let's go ahead and do this again one more time. And uh, we're going to go up to the dashboard here and we're going to run a scan again. So I've got everything all set the way I want it. All we need to do now is go back to dashboard and click scan now. It shouldn't take too long because we already run a scan and it will run those fixes for us. So there we go. And you can see here now run basic repair. That's what we're going to do. And push continue and it will then run the basic repair to do all those things for us. Now there's other ways of doing this as well, but it's just an added uh, measure just in case it's changed any sort of settings on the system. And you can check the log here and it will tell you what it's done and what it's checked. And it can also tell you some of the stuff it's done. So there you go. That's all now finished off. And what we can do now is we'll do one more scan. I'm going to do this with Hitman Pro just to make sure there is no more uh, malware left behind or any remnants and we're going to run hitman pro here these are all free tools that you can use to make sure there is no malware left on the system so let's go ahead and click next and check the settings here everything's okay here the way i want it okay that's good i don't want to run any sort of uh scheduled uh scans here so i'm just going to run next i don't i'm only interested in performing a one-time scan and we'll let that run and it shouldn't take too long. And hopefully the system is clean. Now you can run something like ESET Online Scanner as well, which is another scanning tool that you can run just to be 100% sure there is nothing left behind. But you can see here it's all running clear now. The browser's running smooth. Everything is back to the way it should be. And hopefully you should be having a clean PC. Now it's also important to make sure if you do run system restore to make sure that all of the system restore points are deleted and then you create a new uh, restore point saying clean but this one is off so i don't need to worry about it but if it is on and you have a, a ton of system restore points you're going to need to delete a lot of those because they will have malware in them and if you use one of them to restore your system it's going to restore all of the malware and we don't want to do that so make sure you follow that process other than that i think that's going to be about it there's other things you can do, but this is pretty much a basic uh, thing to do if you have malware or viruses on your PC. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Remember, you can always join our Discord server if you have issues. I'll leave the link in the video description. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.